Today is Earth Day, an annual global celebration of our home planet. And as we celebrate Earth today, let's raise awareness about the importance of protecting our fragile planet. Joining us now is NASA expert Dr. Dahlia Kirschbaum to help us celebrate Earth Day. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. Good afternoon. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. I understand NASA has a new Earth observing satellite. It's called PACE. Tell us a little bit about PACE and what it does. That's right. Well, we are so excited to show you some of the amazing images from the newest Earth Science satellite for NASA. So PACE launched a little over two and a half months ago, and from its several hundred miles up in space, is designed to look at tiny organisms in our ocean called phytoplankton. And the phytoplankton has chlorophyll, which is just like on land, shows in that green light. And so by being able to look at these different types of phytoplankton, it helps us understand important things like where there may be harmful algal blooms and um, how it may affect fisheries because fish rely on phytoplankton. Yeah, and here you mentioned algal blooms. That's a, it's, it stands us to, out to us here on Lake Erie. And our, right. our planet is covered 70% of water. So, you know, why is this so important that we know the health of our oceans and our bodies of waters? So ocean color is, um, is really important. We really think of our oceans as, as blue, so they reflect blue light. Um, but with uh, understanding where phytoplankton is in the ocean, PACE has evolved our understanding from looking at kind of a couple different shades of green to over 200 different shades in the ocean. And that is telling us a lot about how they may absorb carbon dioxide differently, how they affect our food chain, and um, it tells us about the distribution and the overall health of our oceans. Super important. I, I also understand that PACE tracks some particles in our atmosphere, like smoke <laughs> from wildfires. Why, why do we want to measure these tiny little things all the way from space? So another exciting thing about aerosols is that, it, so aerosols are tiny particles in the atmosphere. That could be dust or smoke, and that helps us to understand things like air quality. Um, so things from smoke, right? So we have smoke from wildfires and they can trans uh, transfer over long distances. Another thing that aerosols are really important for is storm formation. And so by being able to look at this together with clouds and rainfall, it tells us a really important picture, not just for today, but understanding our climate in the future. That's incredible what, what we could do with this technology. You know, 2023 was a year of extremes and starting into 2024 as well. You know, we had a warm year on record. We experienced some pretty warm winter temperatures overall, and we've already had several tornadoes in the state of Ohio. Can you talk about how this fits into the longer term trends you're seeing? So we know that 2023 was the uh, peak on record for extreme temperature. Um, and that included the warmest month of July. We also had the warmest summer and fall. And so as we are seeing these warmer temperatures as a result of human emissions and carbon dioxide, we know that the, that the air temperature will hold more moisture. And so that causes more um, extremes in terms of droughts and floods. It also changes behavior of things like fires. And so with NASA's Earth Science Fleet, we're helping to understand all of those different impacts, both what's happened in the past, observing the present, and using that information to better understand what may happen in the future. Well, it's really interesting information, and it's really pertinent to talk about today here on Earth Day. So, Dr. Kirschbaum, thank you so much for joining us today. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Okay. Learn more at nasa.gov Earth. Thank you so much. Take care.